Welcome to Catherine the Paint. This morning I am going to do a Halloween inspired project. If it turns out the way I'm hoping for. So what I'm doing is on an 11 by 14 canvas, I am going to do a flip cup of very, very dark. I'm gonna, it's all Liquitex Basics. Um, it's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of black because I mostly want it to be black, but I do want a little bit of color running through. So I'm doing the dioxazine purple and the ultramarine blue and I'm doing a lizard and crimson and yellow. I'm gonna do those next to each other for going for kind of an orange sunsetty look. Kind of just a little bit dispersed in, dispersed in there. And I have made an orange because I wanted to go ahead and add an orange that are made out of these two colors. So let's get started. So after I pour this, I am going to let it set for a while. And then I am going to etch a spider web into it and then kind of outline it a little bit with white and see how it looks. So we're going for spider web. Everybody's been doing all these Halloween things and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So then I thought of a spider web. I'm like, ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. So a little bit of yellow. Go ahead and put the orange in. All right, so for this size canvas, it's 11 by 14. And I need a minimum of six ounces of paint. So that would be to this line right here. So I've got to fill it up at least that much. And I will fill it up a little extra. Just uh, for assurances. Okay. Add some more black. Like I said, I want it to be mostly black. Just want a little color, you know, popping through a little bit. So we'll see. Who knows? Sometimes you think something's going to end up a certain way, and then it has a mind of its own. Okay, let's top this off with black. Okay, that is going to be plenty of paint. So the line is here. I filled it up to about right there. So. All right, I am just going to flip it like this. All right, I am gonna let this sit here for a couple of minutes and the paint to flow down and I will be right back. All right, I put some gloves on and now I'm going to poke a hole in the top. Wow, I am liking the color so far. It is really, really dark, but it's got some purple and red coming through. And that's Maggie, sh she's shaking her collar. In case you're wondering about the noise in the background. I can control part of it, like turn off the air conditioner so that it doesn't make that kind of noise, but it's hard to keep the whole entire family quiet. <laughs> so you might hear a little bit of TV in the background that's on the other end of the house and the dog, she was barking in yesterday's video. So, oh, I'm really liking this. It wasn't what was in my head, but it's even better. So, okay, got those two corners. Now, two more corners. I'm just running my finger along the edge because it's making the paint drip and it's therefore by running it along the edge it's covering the sides so it's useful do it over here just 
kind of used it to cover that. All right, let's get this let's get this corner covered. covered. All right, let's turn it around this way. You'll see all that color in there. See how pretty it is. It's just going to be a background for the web. But I think it looks pretty cool. A little more yellow is popping through than I had really wanted, but it's okay. All right, I see a couple. I'm not sure if they're if it's bubbles or if there's something in the paint. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it. Maybe. All right, let's torch it and see if those pop. someone over here. Right there. Okay. Now let's see. I think it is good now. All right. Okay, I think this is going to work really, really good for our purposes. It's definitely got a Halloween feel to it. Very dark. So I am going to let the paint set. Set. And set. It's gonna sit and set. <laughs> it's gonna set up, firm up, so that when I etch the web, it will not just completely close back up immediately. So I will be back in a little while. Okay, it has been almost an hour. I was letting the paint set up, and now I've come back. I'm gonna start etching my. Um, Spider webbing, <laughs> but I did something that I've seen other people do, but I have never done personally until just now. I dropped my phone into my painting, but it just got this edge right here, right here and right here. So I think it's okay. I guess it's gonna smooth out. <laughs> like you can see it at an angle. It took some of the black paint off, but it's not a tragedy. I had to wash the phone off. And so now we're ready to go. So I am just going to start with the center of the web. And I think I'm going to put it like right here because I want it off center. I don't want just the middle of it and it's like that. So composition wise, I kind of want to want to start the center about right here. And then it's going to go out when things working or it's not working. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay, I think these ones are good. So you don't think I should put white on it? I think I should put a little bit of white here and there. You, should I put the lines in first, going this way, before I start highlighting with white? Hmm. Yeah, let's at least put some of them in. Yeah, you really do gotta wipe the stick, otherwise you're just smearing. I am going to add a little bit of white, so, ah, I don't have my white over here, so hold on just a second, let me grab the white. Okay, I had to make up some paint, some white, I was just about out, so I've got me some fresh white here, I didn't put much in here because I'm not going to put a whole lot on here, but I have a whole bottle in case I need more. So, um, 
It kind of faded a little bit while I was out fixing that. So I'm going to run back over these real quick. Yeah, so I have been watching all these wonderful Halloween videos with poured pumpkins and all kinds of cool stuff. I've really enjoyed it, but didn't really want to do one. I was like, what can I do? Like, I'm going to do something for the holiday, right? And then this idea came to me. I'm like, a spider web. I could do a spider web. That might could be cool. So I'm going to at least try it. And then last night, my grandson came over. He is eight and they were having a pumpkin contest and he had gotten this really cool pumpkin it was like big it was really big like about this big bigger about that big about that tall and he wanted a dragon on it he had pictures of dragons so i kind of drew the dragon on it's wrapped around with breathing fire wrapped around the whole pumpkin and then i just did an outline and then he I set him up with all the paints and he and paintbrushes and he just sat here and painted the whole thing. It took a couple hours. I was surprised his attention span lasted that long. So it was pretty amazing. He said it was hard <laughs> at the end, but he stayed with it till it was done. And he was so excited to take it to school this morning. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So if you decide to try this, it doesn't have to be exact or anything. It's the spider web. <laughs> They're not exact. And this is just a painting of it. So there you go. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of white. See where I'm at. And for the white, I am going to use this palette knife. It's thinner than the stick and it's clean. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So I don't want it to be like solid. So I'm just going to kind of. Bring that over. Go down a little bit. I did not wipe it off before I went in there that time. <laughs> I've got a little black in my wipe, but that's all right. I'm liking how this is looking. I like how the um, dragging the stick through there kind of changed the pattern a little bit. <laughs> it's really cool. Whoops. Got a little worthless there. There we go. Straighten that out easily. So what are y'all doing for Halloween? Are you doing any paintings themed for Halloween? Any crafts that are themed for Halloween? Our town has a scarecrow festival. That started a couple weeks ago or yeah, a week ago. And it's for the fall festival. And so we make a scarecrow for the children's chorus every year. 
And this year, the scarecrow, the theme was Christmas. So I ended up making a Santa, which is not very good for getting me in the Halloween spirit. I went straight to Christmas. I was buying Christmas stuff at the store, the craft store, and they were like, what, did you skip Halloween? I'm like, well, you know, sometimes it happens. So I'm coming a little late to the party. But I'm getting here. So, yay. I am glad I'm doing this. Makes me feel like I'm more involved in Halloween. I don't want to skip a holiday. I just had to take a break, though. I just made a Santa. I got a styrofoam head and made the Santa's whole head and ordered a Santa suit and stuffed it. <laughs> and to paint his boots. Made my tennis shoes, an old pair of tennis shoes with white boots. And yeah, so it was quite involved. Kind of messes up your Halloween spirit. All right. I hope this is looking kind of creepy. I think it is. Glad I didn't try to do this with um, the bottle. I was thinking, oh, I can just take the bottle and just put some water on, I mean, put some white on here. But I think that would have been too much white and less control over trying to make it just in spots and not in other spots. So. Don't ever be afraid to just improvise as you go. It's an important part of art. guys what do you think I'm getting there aren't I <laughs> okay I'm almost done Okay, I need to do the middle. It gets a lot, the webs are more concentrated right in the middle. I guess I should think about putting a spider on here, huh? Where would I put the spider? Hmm. <sighs> well, I don't know where to put the spider.
Wow, I really like that. This was fun. Hmm, should we put a spider? Or should I not put a spider? That is the question. To spider or not to spider? Hmm. Alright guys, well I'm going to let this set for a few minutes and I am going to think about a spider and try to decide if I'm adding a spider. Alright, I will be back in a few minutes. Here are the dried results. Guys, you are not going to believe this. When I went to bed last night, there was still a lot of color on this canvas. And when I woke up, it was almost completely black. So, hmm, it's the way, it's like the disappearing ink, the disappearing paint. It's a Halloween trick, I'm telling you. So let's go in for a close up. You can still see a little bit of color. In this corner, if you get the glare off of it. And actually it's showing up more on the camera than it is in real life. Like it's, <laughs> you can't hardly even see that green right there in real life. But I mean, it's still a cool effect. A lot of black. I, I wanted a lot of black, but when it had that color, I really enjoyed the color too. So there we go. There is the spider web. So, so far on the votes, we have got no spider winning. So cast your vote and we will see if a spider gets added. For now, this is it dried or drying yeah it's pretty dry now anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for voting thanks for subscribing i really appreciate you guys i am almost to 100 subscribers so i will be doing a giveaway very soon i think i'm going to announce it tomorrow or the next day so just got to get that together so thank you guys so so much be inspired.